Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be explaining the emo dialysis uh, working model, how it really works, what are the benefits of this emo dialysis uh, process which we normally follow when there is a failure in the kidney. Normally, the hemodialysis is a procedure, medical procedure, which we normally do when there is a failure in the human kidneys. Whenever human kidneys stopped working as normal, where it is not able to handle the purification process by its own, then we'll have to go for hemodialysis. The hemodialysis is a one of the equipments they normally keep in every hospital so that people can go and visit uh, those hemodialysis center to help them to remove all the impurities present in their body because their kidneys are not working. Now, in place of kidneys, these machines are going to work as a artificial kidneys. Whenever the person who is having this kidney failure has to visit these uh, medical uh, centers where they are going to take away the blood, they will uh, pull the blood from the body, then they send it to the pumps which are available in the hemodialysis uh, machine. Basically, it extracts the blood from the body and uh, it sends to to the dialyzer machine. Basically, this dialyzer machine, what it does is, it removes all the impurities which is available in the blood. It could be lot of salts can be removed, lot of waste material will get removed uh, in the dialyzer machine. Blood passing through this uh, pipeline will have uh, another pump called as a apparent pump, which normally prevents the clotting of blood because whenever blood is passing through this pipeline, we should ensure that there is no clotting is happening and also all the pressures will be monitored using these various uh, monitor tools as well. Now, this di the dialyzer uh, is going to perform uh, its operation of filtering out uh, impure blood. Now, when that impure blood is uh, purified, now again it sends back to the human body. Now during uh, sending back the blood back to the human body, we should also check for is there any air trap which is in the blood after dialyzer. When there is no that we have to ensure otherwise this air trap air is getting added into this blood and it sends back to the human body which is uh, not good because of that we have included a air trap uh, detector as well that is going to detect and remove those uh, air bubbles or air uh, which is in the blood and again it sends back to the human body. This process normally take uh, two to four hours uh, uh, whenever the patients comes to the dialysing center and uh, they will pull the blood and uh, they will do this entire operation within these two to four hours so that uh, people can visit next after two or three days or within a one week they have to come back because uh, kidneys are not working and uh, uh, it is not able to purify the blood. Because of that, we have to use this hemodialysis uh, machines.